The best tip I can give you for driving in Washington, D.C. is don't. If you're visiting from out of town, driving around here can be a stressful and frustrating experience. The good news is that there are tons of different ways of getting around D.C. From metro to capital bike share to walking. So the airport rental car, which is necessary in many destinations, is not required here. And if you're curious to learn about every single one of those transportation options and my opinions about them, I have a video on this exact topic. By the way, hello, my name is Rob. I'm a tour guide and the founder of Trip Hacks DC Tours. On this channel, I share my best tips, tricks, and hacks for visitors who want to explore Washington, DC. And I'm curious to know, if you've been to DC before, what's your preferred way of getting around? Leave a comment down there and let me know. My second tip is avoid driving in rush hour whenever possible. Rush hour traffic in DC is heavy and unpredictable. And you might be thinking, since COVID and everyone started working from home, is rush hour even still a thing? It's true that many white collar office workers are still working at least part time at home. However, the answer to the question is yes, rush hour is still a thing. The unfortunate reality is for whatever their reasons, lots of people started driving more during COVID and taking Metro less. So. There may be fewer people working downtown than pre-COVID, but because driving is so much less efficient than taking public transportation, traffic still feels gridlocked during rush hour. Tip number three is avoid driving on the weekends. But wait, you might be thinking, Rob, you just told us not to drive during rush hour and shouldn't weekends be more chill? And the truth is that weekend traffic is often worse than rush hour traffic for several reasons. The first is that people who live in the suburbs nearby often drive into the city on the weekends to have fun and explore. People who live in the city are driving all around doing errands. And then you have special events, festivals, marathons that are almost always on the weekend. Special events, marathons, etc., are almost always accompanied by big time road closures, which makes driving a lot more challenging. For example, we recently had a big beer festival called Snallygaster, and it was held right in the middle of Pennsylvania Avenue, which meant several blocks of what is otherwise a main thoroughfare were closed. So for all of these reasons, driving on the weekend often has lots of challenges. Tip number four is know exactly where you're going to park. Now, I hear people say sometimes that there is nowhere to park or that it's impossible to find a space. And that's not really true. There are actually lots of places to park, but there are very few free places to park. If you're gonna drive in DC, a huge mistake is assuming that you're going to find a free place to park directly in front of your destination. That sort of thing may be the reality in the suburbs where you live, but it's not the case here in the city. There are garages near the main tourist sites, like at Union Station, City Center, and the Wharf, but you're going to have to pay. And if you're used to free, the price is probably gonna seem like a lot, but that's the cost of the privilege of driving in DC. Which leads to tip number five, which is be very careful with street parking. Another piece of not very good advice that I hear locals give tourists sometimes is, eh, just park on the street. Street parking is tricky. Some of it is metered, some of it is time limited, some of it is metered and time limited. And while Washington DC is generally a safe place for visitors, the one place you do need to be vigilant is with your car. I really don't want anyone's trip ruined because something happened to their car while it was sitting parked on a street. A related tip, number six, is don't take parking advice from people who have no idea what they're talking about. It's wild to me how often someone will walk up to me and ask if it's okay to leave their car where they parked it. Like I'm the emperor of parking or something. One time a guy parked his family minivan in front of this sign. He walked up to me and asked, is this okay? I looked at the sign and said, well, you can park there, but not legally. He then said, thanks, locked up and walked off to take his family to see the sights. Now what the guy was really wanting me to say was, ah, yeah, you're fine, don't worry about it. And lots of people would have told him that. But like, this is your vehicle. Do you really want to deal with the worst case scenario if it comes to that? Let's talk about what could have happened to this guy. First, if you're illegally parked, you could get a ticket. If you get a bunch of tickets, or you've visited before and gotten tickets that you never paid, well, then you could get a boot. Or if you leave your car in a tow-away zone, 
like on a busy street during rush hour, you could get towed away. Now, is this really likely to happen? Does it matter? The last place I would ever want to spend a vacation is at an impound lot because I was trying to cheap out with street parking. And tip number seven is be careful. Driving in DC is challenging for a lot of reasons. There are one-way streets. There are traffic circles. But the thing you need to watch out for more than anything else is other drivers. Now, I know that everybody thinks the drivers are the worst wherever they live. I don't really think it's a competition. I think driving in the US nationally has gotten worse since COVID. Traffic deaths nationally hit a record high in 2021. It's tragic. And anecdotally, I've noticed that the amount of reckless driving around here, it's gone up. And besides that, in DC, there are speed cameras, there are red light cameras. If you break the law, there is a greater than zero chance you're going to get busted for it. So be careful out there. And hey, if you made it this far, then I highly recommend watching another Trip Hacks DC video. So go ahead and click or tap right over here, right there, right now. Enjoy your trip.